Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the long-awaited lip swatch video. Now, I posted on Instagram about, I want to say a month ago now, that I was thinking about doing a lip swatch video of all of the LA Colors matte liquid lip colors that I use all the time, and I couldn't actually find the last eight shades that I didn't have in store, so I had to order them, and then it took like two weeks to get here, and then it got like stuck in the snow, and it's just been... A crazy journey but they all showed up Tuesday and I actually had class all day Tuesday so I uh, didn't get home until Wednesday and so today's Thursday I'm filming it today uh, so I mean I, I really am trying I really am trying <laughs> uh, but another announcement <laughs> before I forget I am in a different space I'm actually sitting where I filmed my I want to say it was the Red Riding Hood look and the chocolate gold palette review I'm actually sitting in front of a window now I moved everything back downstairs. This is where my makeup was originally before I moved it upstairs. And I am going, my birthday is next month, and I'm going to start ordering some things that way I can film at night uh, down here because it, there's just, there's a ton more room, which is beneficial to me. So this is still this, the same sheet uh, that I had, and you can see that it's not hung exactly straight, so ignore that. I'm so sorry. But it was really difficult <laughs> because I have it, I did it all by myself, and this is like it was it was a lot and I only have three thumbtacks because I lost everything else so um yeah it's it's been a lot and within the next couple months I want to start buying or like finally getting some things to actually you know like real filming lights and things like that but um it'll be a while so bear with me <laughs> and while I'm filming this new space there's also sound differences so uh yeah just uh, bear with me while I figure this all out. I'm doing this completely by myself and yeah. So I have a lot of fun doing it but it's also one giant headache because I do it all by myself and I don't have any lights or a stand for my phone even because I film on my phone. I don't have a tripod so I really stack up boxes and stuff. So it's not the best looking right now but I'm going to start, you know, getting some things to... Uh, make my videos look better and make my filming process a lot easier because I film quite a lot actually. I post two uh, videos a week and I film way more than twice a week. So I film probably about, I want to say three or four days a week, but I film more than one video each time. So it is a lot and so yeah, it's it's one giant headache. But I'm just going to be on already and we're just going to go ahead and jump in. That's why I don't have any lip products on my lips because I have 18 shades to swatch for you today and let's get started. So I have written them in an order where I think it's lightest to darkest but it's not actually on the website which like is the lightest shade I just kind of eyed it in the tube so if it's not completely I'm sorry but I also bought this this is the LA Colors C Later Lip Color Remover I bought this and I just want to test it out to see if it actually does remove the lip products I haven't even used it yet but we're gonna see if it works. So the first one I have for you is the shade Barely There. This is one of my new ones. This is what it looks like in the tube. It's just like a standard um, liquid lipstick tube. I have my Anastasia ones just sitting right here. They're about the same size roughly. The LA Colors one is just a tad bit taller, so if you keep your lipsticks in a drawer, they may or may not fit depending on how tall the drawer is and they have the same type of packaging. This one is a little bit of a sturdier plastic, the Anastasia ones, but this is still plastic and I still like the packaging. I think it's really, really, really nice and it has a really long wand, which I prefer longer wands. I feel like I have more control and it has a doe foot applicator that is really long and slender, which I also really like because I never have to use a lip liner with these. I hardly ever use lip liner anyway, but with these I don't have to use one if I don't want to. And they are really pigmented, they dry down completely matte, they don't transfer, and they last a really long time. Now, there are a couple shades that need a little extra help, like a little, like more than one layer, but it's typically like a lighter shade and then like a darker shade, which is normal for like lipstick. So this is the shade, barely there, I haven't even worn this one yet. So let's just see. Okay, it's like a pink color. Right, this is the shade barely there it is literally barely there uh, it is pretty true to color this is natural lighting so this is really the truest color I wish I could get closer for you guys but this is literally as close as I can get so I'm so sorry about that but again if you want to see a, a color really up close just comment down below and I will post a picture of it on Instagram or put it in my story or something like that but uh, I will have the color names 
also on the screen for you just in case you don't remember them and this is the shade this is one that needed um two coats but it's not uncomfortable it's still drying down so it's not drying down completely yet it's a really really light pink color it's a really really light nude i think it'd be perfect for like a super dark smoky eye it looks okay with the look i have on today i actually just have a cream eyeshadow stick on and i just blended it out and that's all i have on my eyes so in case you're wondering but uh yeah these are so comfortable they're not sticky at all they are it is a little bit because it's still wet i mean that's just common but they're really comfortable and they last forever but yeah that is barely there the next shade i have for you is all natural natural i don't know some people say natural some people say natural depends on you this is what it looks like inside the tube in case you were wondering and i have worn this one before i think on my channel not entirely sure all right this is all natural all natural whatever you want to say this is also another really really light color but it is a little bit more of like a brown tone so if that is more like your speed i guess or more of like what you like you'd probably like this color a lot more i like this color more than um barely there just because it does like it goes with my skin tone i personally think a little bit better this would be perfect again for a really really dramatic eye i actually think that's what i've used it for and it doesn't make your teeth look too yellow it does have a cool cooler undertone to it so i mean it does like a tiny tiny bit but it's not too bad like it's not like a purple or anything some purples can really make your teeth look really yellow this color's really nice it did not need uh two coats like the last one did so if that's something that bothers you i would recommend this one and uh, yeah i just personally like this color a lot better just because of the color itself the formula is the exact same it's not sticky this is all natural or all natural whichever you prefer and yeah what do you guys think of this color next shade i have for you is cuddles and this is also a new one to me i have not even opened these so i'm very excited all right this is the shade cuddles it looks more like a apricotty peachy orangey color than what i anticipated it to look like i don't know i really like this color i think it'd be perfect for like a really nice springy look it kind of is clashing with my skin tone just a little bit but i think if i bronze my skin a little bit more i could probably pull it off just a little bit better but i do really like this color i'll probably be wearing it again it's a really nice fresh springy color i feel like you could wear this really any time of the year i feel like it's just perfect it's such a nice peachy orange apricotty color i just i really like it i don't know how to describe it but i really do like it all right the next shade is vixen this is the shade vixen it's still wet so it's not completely dry yet and it needed like an extra coat in like certain spots so it needed touch-ups in like certain areas but i really do like this color i have used it i, I want to say it several times on my channel i think this is probably one of my most used colors by la colors <laughs> this particular shade i really really like it if cuddles was too like intense for you i would go with vixen it's a little bit it's not as bright it's not as out there and it's definitely a little bit more wearable i would say for like the everyday person this is one of my mom's favorite colors she doesn't actually have it but every time i wear it she's like oh my god i love your lipstick and i'm like thanks <laughs> it's it's they're really it's really nice i think this color in particular would go with absolutely any look it's not too bright to where you can wear it with like a super colorful look but it's also not too dark to where you can wear it with like a super dark look you can wear it with like super la la natural <laughs> makeup if you wanted to i really like it with today's look i like this with like every look like this is really this is probably my most used liquid lipstick i have for sure because i it goes with everything and it's one of my absolute favorites i mean it's just perfect look at it it's just perfect it looks a little bit more pink in the tube than what it actually is and i'm okay with that it's it's perfectly nice the next shade i have here is sultry and i think this one might actually be lighter than the last one oops all right this is the color sultry i thought i had lipstick in my teeth for a second <laughs> this is like a super light brownish nude color I really really like this color I like that it's not too dark but if you have a deeper skin tone you may not love it depending on your personal preference towards nude colors but I think it would look stunning on like everybody I feel like every skin tone could pull this color off because it's such a nice neutrally 
brown nude. <laughs> I don't know. I'm terrible at describing colors and so I wanted to put music over the whole video and just like swatch them for you. But um, my mom and my friends told me that it would be more beneficial for you guys to hear my opinions on the color. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> but you can kind of see the color and make your own assumption about it if you wish. But yeah, I really like this color. It's drying down now. The inside's still a little bit wet, but I really do like it. It doesn't make your teeth look yellow. And it didn't need um, more than one layer. This is one layer, and I just this is literally just one dip out of the tube. Like, I just pull it out. One side, I do the bottom lip. The other side, I do the top, and then I'm done. So these will last forever. You really, really don't need to dip back in. I mean, you can, but I personally don't because I feel like it'd just be, like, a little bit too much. And the next one I have is Daydream. They all just started rolling down my table. And... Oh, this is a new one, and I'm really excited about this color. It looks really gorgeous online, so I'm excited to see it in person. I'm obsessed. Okay, I think I found my new favorite color. <laughs> this is Daydream, and it... I can't even describe it. It's like the B Legendary Look Lewis from Smashbox in Primrose. I think that's the color name. But in like lipstick form, and much much cheaper these are like three two three dollars i think and i really like this color it is literally my perfect color this is something i wear all the time this is just like my staple color so this will probably live in my purse and or my backpack and switch back and forth between the two but i really like this color i keep hitting the table i'm so sorry i'm used to filming upstairs <laughs> but um i really like this color it is such a gorgeous pink that like anything could go with it anything like any blush any bronzer you really wouldn't have to think about the look that you're doing to put this color on like it would really really match like it would just go with everything and I'm so bad at describing colors but this is like the perfect pink color like this is my perfect color I'm surprised I didn't order this sooner because this is the color I've been looking for and a lip lipstick for a really long time that wasn't high-end. I've been looking for a an affordable drugstore lip lipstick in this color for, I want to say about a year now. And I finally found it and I'm surprised I didn't just look at LAColors.com before this. But yeah, I really like it. So thank you guys because you guys are the ones that told me I should do this video. So I wouldn't have ordered it without you. <laughs> The next shade I have for you is Pump. This is also a new one. I have four new ones left and quite a bit of the older ones I have. So I'm nowhere near being done. <laughs> this is Pumped. And again, I think this is probably another one of my favorites. This and Daydream so far have been my absolute top favorites. And they're new ones. <laughs> but I really, really like this color. Again, it's the perfect color. It could go with anything because it's not too like intense like it's just perfect and I love that I love that <laughs> but I really do truly like this color I think it's beautiful and I think it goes absolutely incredible with my skin tone because I'm so fair sometimes pink colors can be a little I want to say like too much for me personally and these are not that way they're kind of like a duller pink but they're not dull in color does that make any sense they're really really nice and I really like the way it's drying down it's drying down completely even it's not really patchy at all and it's like it's so pretty the next shade is Eclipse this is another one of my favorites that I've had for a really long time all right this is the shade Eclipse I really really like this color I'm really all about like the gray and the brown brownie gray colors gray <laughs> bray colors I really really like them I've been all about them for about like I want to say like two or three years and this is like perfect because it's not breaking the bank and it's really really comfortable and it's super pigmented and like just look at it it's just such a unique color there's not a whole lot of browns with this undertone it's like a gray purpley undertone but it's still like a brown lipstick it's not like classified as a too out there color none of these colors are really out there which I have a love hate relationship with I would like some colors that are a little more intense but I also wear these type of colors all the time so it they been it benefits me to not have like a crazy but I really like it I really like this color a lot and I wish that this scratch was not here because it makes my lipstick look, look muddy but um 
Yeah, I really do like this color. This is a dried down completely matte and it did not need another layer at all. It was just perfect. It worked and I'm living for it. I really like it with this shirt. <laughs> Alright, the next shirt I have for you is suede. This is actually the first one I, of these I ever purchased and it started my obsession. So, if I want to blame any color, it's going to be suede. This is suede. It's a brown liquid lipstick, but it's not super, super, super dark. So if you are afraid of colors like that, you don't need to be afraid of this one because it's not super dark. But if you are like all about brown liquid lipsticks, I would highly recommend this one. It's a cool tone brown, which I don't think there's a warm tone brown at all. There might be. I think this one might be, but I don't, I'm not 100% yet. So we'll just see. But I really do like this color. This started, like I said, my obsession with these. I bought this, I want to say about two, three years ago. And... I, I just I, I took it the love took off from there I, I needed all of them and now I have all of them which is great but it's kind of like the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick and Biscotti but it's not too dark so if that color was too dark for you I would recommend this one and it's also a lot cheaper but I really do like this color this is a dried down completely matte and again it's a brown with like a purpley undertone but it's not too intense it is darker than Eclipse though so if you weren't really about the super light coloredness of Eclipse, I would go for suede. They do have like stuff all over them, but they all the packaging is identical. So if that's something you were curious about, this is Moonlight. This is a new one to me, and I'm probably most excited about swatching the, this one out of all the newest ones because it is like a gray. Do you guys see this? It's like a gray. There you go. You can kind of see it like there. I'm really excited about this. Alright, this is the shade Moonlight, and I really like this color. Again, it is, I would say it's more of a gray than a brown. This one is definitely more gray. It's a really, really cool toned gray, but it's not like a true gray. Like, it's not like a gray like the shirt I'm wearing, because it's not like that. It's kind of like a gray with like a purpley, nudey, browny undertone. It's not like Eclipse or Suede to where it's like a brown with a gray undertone. It's a gray with like a brown undertone. It's like reversed and I really like this color. I'm really, all, I'm all about these colors. I mean, if you guys follow my Instagram, I'm wearing them all the time. <laughs> but I really do like this color. It makes my teeth look really white and it's really comfortable. There's a bird flying outside the window. <laughs> and I really do like this. I think it's really pretty. I would be prepared to see it in like a taupe makeup look because I feel like that would just really tie this look in together. This is Smashing. This is another new one. This might be the one that I think is warm tone because it looks a little bit more of a warm tone color compared to all the others. So we're just going to, we're just going to see. So Smashing is, that is the name of this, right? Yeah. Smashing is a warm tone brown and I actually really like this. I like how this lipstick is not too dark because I feel like if I wear too dark of a lipstick, it washes me out completely, which is why I don't really wear dark, dark brown lipstick. And that's why I don't really wear a whole lot of dark lipstick. I have worn it a couple times, but dark lipstick, not really my thing because I feel like it washes me out. But I really do like this color. It's a warm tone brown, but it doesn't make my teeth look any yellow at all. And it actually makes my skin look really nice. It's kind of like illuminating me. I really, really like it. You can, what the hell is back here? Can you guys see like the lines? I don't know what that is, but um, ignore it. <laughs> I really do like this color a lot. I really like it with the look I have on. It's like a naturally light bronze look and I'm all about it. I'm all about this color. I'm about all these colors but these are truly just colors I genuinely wear a lot. These are just things I do so yeah I have filled up my first whole drawer. You see this? Look how pretty it looks all lined up like this. This one is perfection. I am gonna like perfection because there's another one called perception so it's perfect perfection and I'm saying it so many times that way when I edit this video I know exactly what word to put on the screen because I don't want to get it wrong <laughs> this is perfection <laughs> and this is probably the brightest color I have swatched so far it's really 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 bright but I really do like it it's kind of like a hot pink I would describe it as a hot pink but it's not like too bright so if you're afraid of hot pinks because they are too bright I would try this one. It's not super, super like in your face. I'm wearing a hot pink liquid lipstick. It's more of like I'm in a nice fuchsia lipstick. It's very 
springy but also very flirty i really like this color it makes my teeth look really white it's really comfortable it didn't need more than one layer and it's still drying over here so don't mind that but i really do like this color a lot i really like all of them i feel like i've said that about all of them but i truly do like them a lot this is pampered this is the next one this is also a new one to me i think i have one more new one yeah and i'm very excited about it because it looks really cool but this is pampered this looks like a bright fuchsia color Excuse my messy application on this side. My lips are like burning from how much I've had to wipe off the lipstick. But this is pampered. I, again, really like this color. It's perfect for spring. It's more bright than perfection. But again, it's not too in your face. It's not too out there. I really do like this color. This is a color I would wear all the time. Personally, more in the spring and summer months. Now that we are in spring and summer's quickly approaching, I feel like this would be the perfect spring summer jam for look lipstick it is just perfect i really do like it i don't like my application at all but um you know it's it's one of those days where i have five more and my lips are killing me the next one i have is fierce and i think this one probably should have swatched before the last two this is the shade fierce this is more of like a mauve color but it's not too of a like a light mauve it's kind of like a darker mauve and i do like this color a lot and I hate my application. My lips are seriously like hurting so bad. I didn't think about that before I started, but um, they're definitely gonna need some severe care after this video. <laughs> but I do like this color. Fierce is more of like a dark mauvey light purple shade. If you like dark like dark purple lipstick or you like purple lipstick in general, but you don't want a liquid lipstick that is too dark or it's too dark purple or it doesn't make your teeth look yellow I would recommend this one and it's really really even some purples can be really really patchy and streaky this one's really even because it's more of like a mauvey purple it's not like a true dark purple this last new one I have and it looks like a red and I'm excited because you guys know how I feel about red liquid lipstick <gasps> oh my goodness Okay, I'm obsessed with Feisty. Oh my goodness. It's like a red, but it's not of a too bright of a red. Apple-y red. Apple red. Yeah, it's more of an apple red. <laughs> I really like this color. It's not of a too in-your-face, like I'm wearing a red lipstick. It's more of like a subtle red, which I really, really like. I don't have a single red lip lipstick in my collection that is this color, which is saying a lot because red lipstick is like my favorite thing ever. And I have a ton of red lipstick. Like I'm looking around the room and I got probably more red lipstick than any other color. And this color is so unique. I don't have one at all like this and it makes my teeth look so white like I'm all about this I'm all about this color I'm all about this it's so even and it drives drives <laughs> dries beautifully oh my gosh I'm so excited I don't even want to take it off like I want to leave this color on but I can't do that I have three left <laughs> I have perception and these three are like really dark they're really similar in color but they're different in undertone this is Perception, and I really think that this color is the perfect fall color. It's like a, it's a dark blackberry shade with a berry undertone. It's really, really pretty, and this particular shade I just dropped it is really even. Now, the last two, I, if I remember correctly, are the ones that need like one to like one and a half like layers this one's really really even i really do like it. it makes my teeth look white and it's comfortable again right now my lips are burning because i've had to wipe them with paper towel but uh for the most part they're really really comfortable and i do really like this shade a lot i'm actually going to switch to baby wipes instead of paper towels just because paper towels are rough and baby wipes are not this is the shade danger all right, this is the shade Danger. This one did need a little bit of uh, extra help in certain places, like the upper lip and right in the center of the lower lip um, where there's like a little bit more area to cover. But I really do like this color. It is a, I have lipstick on my teeth, whoops. This is a dark color with a red undertone. It's a true red. The last color was more of a berry. This is more of a dark, deep 
red undertone. I just smacked everything. I am all, all over the place. And I do like this color. It makes my teeth look really, really white. But this one does need a little extra help. I could probably use a little bit of touch up right here. But from a distance, it's not that bad. It's just really noticeable up close. My mirror is like right here. So I can really see where I need extra touch up. So right here, I could probably use a little bit more. And um, yeah, I would recommend using a lip liner if you aren't very good at using the longer doe foot applicators these are really easy to use but because of with like the darker colors i would use a lip liner with them just so i get a really sharp line and um like if i really want that look i feel like today i feel like it's not super super sharp but i'm not too worried about it i think it looks fine the way it does um it could be a little bit neater but i mean for the most part i think it looks pretty good and i really do what is up with this bun I really do like this color a lot. I think I think it would be perfect for um, fall and even for like Christmas time. I feel like this would be perfect for Christmas Day even because it's such a dark color, but it is a red as well. This is Illusion. This is the darkest color that they sell. They, they sell that they sell. This is the shade Illusion. This is a really dark color, but it has a really deep brown undertone. It's like a true brown undertone and again I really really like it it makes my teeth look really white and I think this would be again perfect for fall I would wear it year round just because I really don't care but I think it'd be perfect for fall now I will do arm swatches for all of you so you can see all the colors lined up and hopefully I have enough arm room for that Here are all 18 <laughs> shades. They are kind of swatched diagonally, so if I hold my arm like this, you can kind of see them better. But I start, start, I started over here, and then this is the same order that they were swatched in all my lips. So here they all are compared to each other. If I get up close, you can kind of see a little bit better that these three are very similar, but they are if there is a different undertone for all three of them. So here are all 18 shades. All right, and with that, I am done with this video. My lips are broken, <laughs> but subscribe my channel if you aren't already and leave your video request down below and I will see you in my next video.